Okay, y'all. Ooh, she needs to get some water. Yeah, you need to get some water, girl. <laughs> what you need to get some water? You must go get some water. Back over here, Lucia. Hi, y'all. I'm just getting home here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, I live out here in Texas Hill Country on uh, about two acres with my kind of corso pack. There's Ozzy the Alpha, male, 150 pounds. Lucia, the female puppy, 10 months old. Dolce, female, adult. She's the adult. So those are the two females. And Gypsy is the little pit bull puppy. I've got a genetic test pending on her. I think she's mostly pit bull. We'll see what else. We'll see what else. See how dominant Dolce is. And then, uh, last but not least, Tux is the uh, pit bull mix. About 65% uh, American pit bull terrier. Some other breeds in there in the mix. And uh, sun's going down here. So I'm just getting back from work. And uh, yeah, just want to check in with everybody. Say hi. It's Friday. Finally, the weekend. You can see most of the uh, the plants are dead, save save for the the natives. But the native plants survive. But it's just too hot. Uh, can't keep up with it. All around, you know. Moving in triple digits here in in Texas all week, like 105 degrees Fahrenheit all week. But uh. But anyway, yeah, so I, uh, like I guess I just want to say hi, let you see the pack real quick, see what's going on. I'm going to um, put out some more videos later this week, and, um, uh, but for, for today's episode, uh, nothing really uh, much to report other than, um, you know, just keep trying to keep the peace in the pack, and, um, these two females here are my main concern. I want to make sure that they don't uh, want to make sure that they don't uh, escalate into a fight. So it's a constant, constant worry of mine. Uh, but hi, baby girl. Yeah. I need to get you some water. But uh, so far they're they're peaceful. Um, Lucia is constantly challenging Dolce, and. But the, the, I think the reason that it works is because Lucia will, will back down to Dolce for the most part. Lucia, the puppy. Um, so, come here, baby girl. Gypsy. So, for now, you know, for now it's fine. Lucia probably does have a good amount of hormone on board right now because she's very close to going into heat. Probably any day now. So, even with hormones on board, um, and increased in her system she still will acquiesce to the more dominant female i did neuter my male ozzy very recently a few weeks ago actually um, because he's five years old and um it's just something that i, I want i didn't really it's not really recommended to neuter this breed because being such a large breed they rely on their hormones but since he's already midlife, he's, he's doesn't really rely as much on hormones because he's already grown. Uh, and uh, the risk of my female getting pregnant is too great. This one right here, the adult female is already spayed. But anyways, yeah, I uh, just wanted to check in, say hi, and, and uh, more to follow this weekend uh, as I put out some more videos. But hope you all having a good night and hope you have a good weekend and i'm gonna leave you here with some footage of uh of the dogs and uh let you see kind of how i feed them so i feed them a mix of raw a raw frozen steak in the morning and then in the evening their kibble which is victor brand and uh Zeewee brand for the puppy and then i mix in some some canned chicken or some boiled boiled uh, chicken t tenders with no sodium and uh, so that wor works well they're keeping a good weight but I did want 
to show you that um, they eat peacefully. They eat very, they eat peacefully, and I train them at a very young age not to growl or become uh, food aggressive, and no resource guarding is allowed in this pack. And inevitably, as puppies, they will growl at the other ones if if they get near the their food. But what I do is I remove the food from from the puppy that that starts the growling, and. Uh, you know, a, cor a correction, like a no, a firm correction, no, and then, and then uh, I'll kind of redirect them, make them wait a little bit before they have their food. The goal is to, the goal is to communicate to the dog that you own the food, because when the when the dog starts to growl, when anyone approaches its food, it's trying to own that food, and you have to communicate that no they do not own that food and it can be taken away if they growl and try to own it so so that's the strategy that's the communication um and it's worked beautifully and, and i'll i'll end the video here uh i, I also made it a, a little shorts video too um for for the non-subscribers you know that just to show um but uh but yeah if you're subscribed or if you're just tuning in uh, feel free to subscribe for more for more videos like this. I've got some more in-depth kind of videos and uh, even with with treats, you know, you know, a lot of people will say if you introduce any kind of treats or value items in your pack, you're introducing the potential for a fight, which is true. I, don't, I definitely won't argue with that. But with my small-ish, relatively small pack, uh, I I still do leave treats out like this. And right now they're just play, they're play fighting, but uh, I I correct any type of resource guarding and and uh, it has not been a problem. And I've had this breed for five years now. Ozzy's Ozzy's about five years old, and so you know I've I've had more than one kind of course so for a good amount of time. Relatively new owner, but. I do have some experience with the breed now and um, am able to prevent the fight. I also made another video that what do I do in the uh, in the event that there is a fight that breaks out. I carry a stun gun on me at all times and as a worst case scenario, you know, I, I will try to preempt the fight. You want to look for body language and uh, hackles going up, fur on the back of their neck going up, tail sticking straight up. I watch their body language like a hawk all the time. That's a necessity when owning this breed, especially if you have more than one. And so in doing that, the goal is, you know, to kind of diffuse the tension if it's there and potentially develops into a fight. But like I said, if, if I can't get to it soon enough or if it develops, then I, I do have means to stop it. But... Yeah, I did a whole video on that uh, a few days ago. Could have been last week, but yeah. So, so Lucia is uh, flirting with Ozzy. She's she's about to go into heat, and Ozzy's alpha. So she's also, in a way, kind of challenging him and feeling out her power. Which every day, I'm sure she's becoming more and more confident because she's realizing, for a female kind of course, so she is actually very powerful. She's huge she's extremely tall for her age because she's not even done growing and she's even bigger than than my my adult female here dolce so unbelievably tall almost as tall as ozzy so so she's uh you know she's she's playing around with that she's always taking that for a test drive to see what she can do and right there you could see she was testing it out on ozzy you know, challenging it in a play setting, but Ozzy lets them know, you know, they like to play with Ozzy that way and challenge him, but uh, he, he maintains alpha status. Alpha of the dogs, and then I'm truly the alpha, or I like to say the pack leader, but but Ozzy, uh, amongst the dogs, he's, he's alpha. And, um, but anyways, isn't that cute? see the two puppies right there 
So yeah, y'all, um, this, sorry, this video was kind of fast and furious. I, I gotta get inside because I, um, many of y'all, y'all, if you, if you follow along with all the episodes that I put out, you know that my brother's here visiting from out of town, um, and guess what, y'all? He's got COVID. Yeah, he plays baseball, and I th we think he picked it up uh, when he was at the baseball game in Houston uh, on Sunday, I think it was. So it's now Friday, and he started developing symptoms Thursday, yeah, yeah, yesterday, and I, I ordered him one of these rapid COVID tests, and uh, it was positive, so, so, um, so yeah, I need to get in there, check on him, and um, trying to kind of quarantine a little bit away from him, and so that's why I'm kind of going a little faster on this video, but, but yeah, I hope you're having a good night, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all. Dolce. Dolce. Come on, baby, let's go get some water. Come on.